Uh, hey guys, uh, you can tell I'm really bored when I do videos like this, but something interesting I found. I bought some more stuff today at an estate sale, another estate sale. I bought a whole box of stuff for like five bucks, and uh, I found some cool stuff. Now this is something you don't find anymore. Oh, everybody's looking at me like, what? Just, just toilet paper. Well, it is, but look at it. Does everybody see that? That's not the paper. Yeah, there's the paper. That is the toilet paper. It's printed. It has prints on it. They discontinued that probably back in the 90s. So and even when I was younger, you could buy toilet paper in different colors. Um, it came in like yellow, pink. Um, I think they had uh, blue, green, and different colors. And then you could get it with flowers on it. And this one is definitely printed paper. Printed toilet paper, that's old, so I won't open that. You could use it, of course, you know, it's not bad, but uh, I don't even know what year it's this one's from. I know they quit doing that, I think, in the mid-90s. I can't find a date on it, but it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, printed toilet paper. Well, that was nice, knocking over that. That's kind of old, too. Yeah, there was some old bubble bath in there. I don't know how old this one is. It still smells like it's good, and it's still thick, and it has. A, it still smells just fine. But uh, I don't know if I would use it, but maybe. Well, I don't really, I take showers mostly. The kids love taking baths and the wife and stuff, but uh, that one is old. That is, even though the bottle looks the same, but this one had a date on the back of 1992. And this one came from Sam's Club. Had a Sam's Club price. You could barely, you probably ain't gonna pick it up with the camera. No, it won't be readable. It's not, but it was on there, it's the Sam's Club. Uh, so it was bought at a Sam's department store, you know, the Sam's Club store, uh, for $3.79 for this whole thing. It's kind of dirty. It's never been opened. That's a whole three-pack of bubble baths. Uh, a milk, uh, peaches and cream, and strawberry. But you can't see it on the camera, but this stuff looks awful thin. I'm not kidding you. I certainly wouldn't use it. Yeah, look at that. See that? Ain't no way. That'd just be a good display piece to put up on a shelf for display. This one, though, is thick. And I think this one, if I read the sticker on this one, came from a Kroger store from 1999. So it's old, but yeah, it's it's still pretty thick. It doesn't pour out like water. So I don't know. And then I don't know what this is. <laughs> Some kind of hair stuff. Definitely old. And I think I saw a date code on here somewhere from 1970 something. Uh, so yeah, that I don't. I'm not going to use this stuff. I just thought it was kind of some cool relics. There was a bunch of other stuff in the box that I'm going to use. That's newer. And there's an old towel. I tell that towel's old. And then this is what's cool. There was two old vintage '70s style hair dryers, and they both work. And they work real good. Now look at that. It even has a cool setting. You can just have it blow cold air. Uh, so it's an old. Uh, is it a wind mirror? Yeah, wind mirror. The camera wants to focus and it won't. So yeah, that's a pretty cool old uh, wind mirror hair dryer. Still works. And then there's one more hair dryer that's pretty cool. Using my Cola Rochelle as a table, so don't pay no attention to that. This is a hair dryer, and this one's designed for men. Look at that. Well, okay, I was wrong. That's not the one I saw. Lady Schick Mist Sprayer. Yeah, it's supposed to be some kind of liquid you'd put in there and pump that, and it sprays out right there to style your hair. Yeah, I thought that had men's. I'm, I've seen these before that were for men, but this one's not. But, I, I mean, yeah, guys can use it, of course. Uh, just a hair dryer. Uh, so, you know, and it's got a brush on it. I think you can snap that off, too. So just uh, something really cool. Just thought I'd share that real guys. And when I get bored, I do crazy videos. And I just thought I'd share some of these old relics from the past. You never know what you're gonna find. So, all right guys, well there you have it. Thanks for watching. More junk from my collection.